Today we discuss Mollusca Echinodermata regarding the M set. What type of beads in the main M set examination? Today the topic is the Mollusca and Echinodermata. And Echinodermata. What type of beads are asking in the Mollusca and Echinodermata? Now the first bit. In the phylum Mollusca. Function of crystalline style in some molluscans. What is the function of crystalline style? Respiration, digestion, excretion, mastigation. Now the answer is digestion. The crystalline style is present in some gastropods and pelicipoda. What is the function of crystalline style? The digestion. It is secretes an enzyme called amylase. Now the next question. Asperidium is a sense organ, structure in circulatory system, genital organ, mastigation. Now what is meant by asperidium? It is a leaf-like structure. What is the function of asperidium? It helps to test the purity of water. So here the answer is sense organ. Now the next question. Radula is organ of defense, excretory organ, rasping organ and reproductive organ. Now, as we observe the radula, it is a ribbon like or blade like structure. It is present in the buccal cavity of majority of molluscans. What is the main function of radula? It helps to cut the food materials. It is also known as the rasping organ. Now the next one. The second largest phylum in the kingdom Animalia. Anilida, Arthropoda, Mollusca, Echinodermata. In all aspects in the kingdom Animalia, the biggest phylum is Arthropoda. Now here the question is, what is the largest second phylum in the kingdom Animalia? In all aspects, the second largest phylum in the kingdom Animalia is the Mollusca. Now the next question. The study of molluscan shells, malacology, conchology, carcinology, nidology. Now, as we observe the mollusca, the study of molluscan animals we call it as malacology, whereas the study of molluscan shells we call it as conchology. Here, the question is the study of molluscan shells we call it as the malacology. Next question. The pincer like structures which keep the body clean located on the body surface of echinoderms. Now, here, what is the other name of pincer shape? That is forcep like structures. These are known as the pedicillariae. The pedicillariae may be two jawed, three jawed. Two jawed pedicillariae present in the asteroidia. Three jawed pedicillariae are present in the echinoidia. Now, here the question is, what are the pincer like structures that help in the cleaning located on the body surface of echinoderms that we call it as pedicillaria. They may be two jawed or three jawed. Now, the next question is, the coelom in echinodermata. We are having a good idea regarding the echinodermata, hemicardata and cardata. In these three phyla, what type of coelom is present? Here the coelom is derived from the wall of Archenteron or elementary canal. Such type of coelom we call it as enterocelom. Now as we observe the answers, pseudoceal, hemoceal, schizoceal, enterocel. Now what is the answer for the question coelom in the echinodermata? That we call it as enterocelom. In the enterocelomates, what is the invertebrate phylum? That is echinodermata. What is the biggest phylum? The cardata. Now the next question. Structures which perform locomotion, respiration, excretion and food capturing in echinoderms. As we observe the echinoderms, in the echinodermata, the important character is the presence of water vascular system. In associated the water vascular system, what are present the tube feet? Regarding this question, what are the structures which perform the locomotion, the respiration, excretion and food capturing in echinoderms? 
the options are cetae tube feet pedicillary tentacles here the best answer is the tube feet it performs locomotion respiration excretion and food capturing now the next question is calcareous ossicles are present in the echinodermata sponges arthropoda and mollusca now as we discuss this question among invertebrates only in the phylum echinodermata a true endoskeleton is present what is meant by true endoskeleton it is derived from mesoderm in the phylum echinodermata such a true endoskeleton is made by calcareous ossicles now regarding this question the calcareous ossicles are present in which phylum the correct answer is echinodermata or echinoderms now the next question is water vascular system is derived from uh, now regarding this question in the m set how they are asking in the phylum echinodermata what is the important character that is water vascular system as we observe the water vascular system we have to give the answer in the two ways one is the water vascular system is derived from the coelom if in the option coelom is not present we go for the mesoderm because the coelom is the derivative of mesoderm now regarding this question water vascular system is derived from tube feet coelom ecto endoderms body wall the correct answer is the coelom now we go for the next question gastropods are primarily now where we are going to observe the gastropoda in the phylum mollusca one class we call it as gastropoda as we observe the gastropoda in the larval stage what type of symmetry is present the bilateral symmetry is present whereas in the adult stage because of the torsion they lost symmetry and are said to be asymmetrical now regarding this question gastropods are primarily symmetrical secondarily asymmetrical what is the correct answer for this question gastropods are primarily symmetrical what type of symmetrical animals bilaterally symmetrical because of the torsion they lost bilateral symmetry so in the adult stage there is no symmetry said to be asymmetry now the next question asymmetrical mollusk with internal shell in the phylum mollusca where we have to observe asymmetry for this question the asymmetry is associated with class gastropoda in the class gastropoda in the adult stage the symmetry absent is said to be asymmetry now the question is asymmetrical mollusk with internal shell here the options c lemon also called the doris c hair aplysia c mouse and c star for this question what is the answer the c hair it is come under the class gastropoda in the gastropoda in the adult stage there is no symmetry now we go for the next question match the following and choose the correct answer now the list one and the list two one we call it as neopelina the second one we call it as dentalium the third one we call it as unio and the fourth one we call it as octopus these are list a examples now the list to two radula absent shell absent three to six pairs of gills and the fourth one is atria or auricles absent and the fifth one is the larval stage absent now we have to discuss the first one is neopelina what is the neopelina it is the living fossil come under the class monoplacophora now regarding the neopelina what is the best answer three to six pairs of gills now in the monoplacophora the second highest number of gills are present now the second one we call it as dentalium the dentalium is come under the class scaphopoda now regarding this question what is associated with dentalium in the dentalium what are absent atria what is the other name of atria the auricles absent now the third one we call it as unio unio is a freshwater molluscan it come under the class pelicipoda 
now in the phylum mollusca name the class in which radula absent pelicipoda so that here in the unio what is absent the radula absent now the fourth one is octopus as we observe the octopus the common name is devil fish the octopus come under the cephalopoda now in the octopus what is totally absent the shell is totally absent now what is the answer for this question the third one now we go for the next question cuttle bone is to sepia as pen is to now as we discuss this question in the class cephalopoda in some animals internal shell is present now as we observe the sepia animal in the sepia animal the internal shell we call it as cuttle bone now whereas here the cuttle bone is to sepia as pen here what, what is the meaning of the pen in case of laligo the laligo is commonly known as the squid in the laligo the internal shell we call it as pen so that for this question what is the answer the laligo that is the first option now we move for the next question in molluscans nephrostome collects the waste products from that is the question now what is the answer how to get the answer for this question in molluscans what type of nephridia are present metanephridia the metanephridia having nephrostome and nephridiopore now regarding this question in molluscan animals the nephrostome collect the nitrogenous waste materials from pericardial cavity what is meant by pericardial cavity it is the space present around the heart now what is the answer for this question the second one pericardial cavity now we go for the next question set of echinoderms with tube feeds without suckers now how to get the answer for this question here the question is what are the echinoderms without suckers now as we observe the phylum echinodermata in the phylum echinodermata one class is crinoidea the second one is astraidea the third one is ophioridea and the fourth one we call it as echinoidea and the last one we call it as holothoroidea now for this question what are the echinoderms in which the tube feet without suckers one answer is crinoidea they are popularly known as the sea lilies and the second one we call it as ophioridea they are called the brittle stars now as we observe the answer for this question is the fourth one that is the sea lilies and brittle stars sea lilies is the common name of crinoidea whereas the brittle stars is the common name of ophioridea now we observe the next question statement one it is also called the assertion now symmetry in the adult echinoderms is called pentaradial symmetry uh, now we are getting a doubt what is the pentaradial symmetry in the pentaradial symmetry we are getting the antimeres through five digit planes now here the statement one in the adult echinoderms what is the symmetry pentamerous radial symmetry or pentaradial symmetry now what is the statement two in echinodermata in the adult body can be divided into five similar parts arranged around a central axis now as we observe the adult echinodermata in the adult echinodermata the main axis is oro eboral axis around this axis all body parts are arranged in the five directions so in the phylum echinodermata what type of symmetry pentaradial symmetry in the pentaradial symmetry we are getting the antimeres through five division planes so that for this question what is the correct answer s1 and s2 both are correct and s2 is the correct explanation of s1 so the answer is the first one the that means <coughs> the answer is s1 is the correct and s2 is incorrect now we go for the next question identify the characters not applicable to sea urchins now where we are going to observe the sea urchins in the phylum echinodermata in the class echinoidea what are present the sea urchins are present here what is the question what are the characters not applicable to sea urchins now as we observe the characters the body is egg shaped and the second one is mastigatory apparatus is five jawed aristotelanthron 
and the third one is siliceous spicules are fused together to form test or corona now here the question is what are the characters not applicable to the sea urchins in sea urchins the body is not the egg shaped so the first option is not the correct in sea urchins what is present mastigatory apparatus called aristotle lantern present now in sea urchins that is in echinodermata the endoskeleton or test or corona is formed by calcareous ossicles but here siliceous spicules now that is the wrong what is the answer for this question is the second one that is a is incorrect and c is incorrect now we go for the next question what are the correct answer from this match now one we call it as the list one dentalium and the second one we call it as nautilus and the third one we call it as ketoderma shell and the fourth one we call it as lepidoplorus once again what are the examples in the list one one we call it as dentalium and the second one we call it as nautilus and the third one is ketoderma and the fourth one we call it as lepidoplorus now dentalium that is come under the scaphopoda nautilus come under the cephalopoda ketoderma that come under the a placophora lepidoplorus come under the polyplacophora now what about the list to two shell absent second one is shell divided into eight transverse shell walls or plates now the third one is multi chambered external shell and the fourth one is tusk shelled mollusks now what is the correct answer for this matching dentalium that come under the class scaphopoda in the dentalium what type of shell is present tusk shaped shells are present now nautilus come under the cephalopoda in the nautilus the shell is external having many chambers now ketoderma the ketoderma come under the class a placophora in the ketoderma what is absent the shell absent now the fourth one is lepidoplorus come under the polyplacophora in the lepidoplorus externally the shell has eight shell walls now the correct answer for this question is 2 now we discuss the next question h shaped excretory canal system is seen in we already completed the characters of phylum nematoda as we observe the phylum nematoda in the phylum nematoda the excretion is brought by renate cell or excretory gland or h shaped excretory canal now here what is the question h shaped excretory canal system is seen in now the answer is phylum nematoda now what is the example for the phylum nematoda earthworm it is not having h shaped excretory canal blood fluke it is not having h shaped excretory canal the second one is trichina worm it come under the phylum nematoda and next the fourth one is pin worm in these four options the last one is pin worm it is also called the enterobius vermicularis in the pin worm what type of excretory canal system is present the h shaped excretory canal system now the correct answer is the fourth one now the next discussed part is the animal organization the animal organization the animal organization to epithelial tissues that is the next one regarding the animal organization in the mct examination what is the weight of animal organization one question we are getting from the animal organization what about the general characteristics and classification we are getting the four questions now in the animal organization we have to discuss the body organization next the symmetry next the coelom next the epithelial tissues what type of questions are asking up to epithelial tissues in the mc examination we have to discuss one after another now we go for the first question regarding this topic now the first one is the simplest animal like organisms that exhibit protoplasmic grade of organization now what is meant by protoplasmic grade of organization as we observe the living biota 
in the living biota different different animals are present they are having different different body organizations the most primitive body organization is protoplasmic grade of body organization what is meant by protoplasmic grade of body organization in this body organization the protoplasm differentiated into different different organelle those organelle perform different functions now regarding this question the simplest animal like organisms that exhibit the protoplasmic grade of organization are the answers are options unicellular protozoans multicellular parazoans multicellular eumetazoans all eukaryotic organisms now you have to guess the answer for this question the answer is simplest animal like organisms unicellular protozoans so the answer is one now we move for the next question division of labor at a single cell level is seen in now as we observe the organisms they are broadly classified into two categories unicellular organisms and multicellular organisms in the unicellular organisms the body is made by one cell in unicellular organisms what type of body organization is seen that is protoplasmic grade of body organization here what is the question division of labor at a single cell level is seen in at a single cell level now we observe the first option sponges they are multicellular nidarians they are multicellular protozoans their body is made by one cell chordates they are advanced animals multicellular now for this question division of labor at a single cell level is the correct answer is protozoans so that the answer is third now we move for next question the lowest level of organization in metazoans what is the other name of metazoans metazoans are called multicellular animals as we observe the kingdom animalia in the kingdom animalia all are multicellular animals in the multicellular animals or in the metazoans what type of body organizations are present one we call it as cellular grade one we call it as tissue grade and one we call it as organ system grade of organization now regarding this question the lowest level of organization in metazoans now we observe the options protoplasmic grade of organization cellular grade of organization tissue grade of organization organ system grade of organization now you have to guess answer for this question what is the lowest level of organization in metazoans cellular grade of organization so the answer is the second one now we move for the next question cellular grade of organization now as we observe the multicellular animals in multicellular animals one is cellular grade organization now what is meant by cellular grade organization here the body functions are performed by cells because in the cellular grade of organization due to the absence of nerve cells and sensory cells among the cells there is no coordination integration so the cells are isolated and perform functions such type of body organization we call it as cellular grade of organization where it is one option is sponges second option is protozoans third is nidarians and the fourth one is flatworms now as we observe the answer for this question the answer is one that is said to be the sponges now the next question is homoxial a polar symmetry now what is meant by symmetry arrangement of body parts in a geometrical design as we observe the symmetry one is a polar one is spherical one is radial one is biradial one is bilateral now here the question is homoxial a polar what is meant by homoxial a polar in this type of symmetry no anterior posterior dorsal ventral and lateral sides because on all sides of the body is spherical in shape now here the question is homoxial a polar symmetry where it is observe options spherical symmetry radial symmetry biradial symmetry pentaradial symmetry now you have to guess what is the answer for this question is the answer is the spherical symmetry what is the other name of spherical symmetry homoxial a polar symmetry now we move for the next question in flatworms immediately we are getting 
an answer. The flatworms come under the phylum platy helminthes. In flatworms, the blastocele is filled with. Now the options. Coelomic fluid, mesenchyme, blood and the lymph. Regarding this question, as we observe the phylum platy helminthes, in between body wall and elementary canal, there is no space. Because between body wall and the elementary canal, the space or primary body cavity or segmentation cavity or blastocele is filled with what type of tissue? In the embryonic stage, mesenchyme, whereas in the adult stage, the parenchyme. What is the parenchyme? It is the derivative of mesenchyme. Both mesenchyme and parenchyme are derived from mesoderm. Now, here what is the answer? As we observe the answer for this question is the second one that we call it as the mesenchyme. Now we go for the next question. The part of gut, what is the other name of gut? Elementary canal. The part of elementary canal which receive mesoderm derivatives in the pseudocelomates. How to get the answer for this question? Here, what are the pseudocelomates? Phylum nematoda, rotifers, etc. In the pseudocelomates, as we observe the elementary canal, in the elementary canal, which part having the muscles, the pharynx, the muscles are derived from the mesoderm. Based on that, what is the part of the gut which receive mesoderm derivatives? Here, what are the mesoderm derivatives? Muscles. In the pseudocelomates, is one option is stomach, second one is rectum. Third one is pharynx and the fourth one is intestine. Now you easily guess the answer for this question is the pharynx. It is muscular. The muscles are derived from the mesoderm. Now the answer is third one. Now we move for the next question. Blastocele is not persistent in. Now as we observe the phylum nematoda. In the phylum nematoda, the pseudocelom is the remnant of blastocele. It means in the phylum nematoda, the blastocele remains as a pseudocelom. But here what is the question? The blastocele is not persistent in. Now one option is roundworm. The second option is filarial worm. The third option is earthworm. And the fourth one is enterobius. As we observe these four options, in the four options, the earthworm. In the earthworm, the true coelom is present. So, regarding this question, blastocele is not persistent in. What is the answer? The answer is earthworm. In remaining three options, the blastocele persistent as the pseudocelom. Now, we go for the next question. Pinocytosis performed by. Now, as we observe the animal cell, the cell is covered and protected by plasma lemma. The plasma lemma performs different different functions. One is the cell drinking, one is the cell eating etc functions. The plasma lemma also performs the diffusion, the osmosis and transportation of different different materials. Now here the pinocytosis, what is the pinocytosis that is the cell drinking performed by one is the plasma lemma endoplasmic reticulum, lysosomes, and Golgi complex. Now, based on this information, you have to guess the answer for this question is the plasma lemma. So, that the answer is 1. Now, we have to discuss the next question. Microanatomy. Now, as we observe the basics and the tissues with reference to animal organization. In the animal organization, one we call it as a tissue. What is meant by tissue? A group of cells having the similar origin, similar function and similar origin function. Such a group of cells we call it as a tissue. The study of tissues we call it as histology. Such histology is also called the microanatomy. Now here the question is microanatomy is the study of one is cells, one is tissues, third one is organs and the fourth one is microscope. Now, what is the correct answer for this question is microanatomy or histology is the study of the tissues. So, that the answer for this question is the second one. Now, we go for the next question. Which of the following combinations are correct? Now, one is the first column is cytoskeleton. What is meant by cytoskeleton? It is present in the cytoplasm of a cell. 
what is the second column proteins what is the third column functions now as we observe the first one microtubules the second one is microfilaments the third one is intermediate filaments the second column chubulin protein actin protein and myosin protein and the third column intracellular movement second one cell movement and the third one is the movement of cilia filaments now what is the question here is which of the following combinations are the correct now as we observe the first one microtubules the microtubules are made by chubulin protein the microtubules help for the intracellular movement what is meant by intracellular movement within the cell the movement takes place the second one we call it as microfilaments the microfilaments are made by what type of protein actin protein now what is the function of microfilaments cell movement it can move from one place to another place now based on this information you have to guess the answer for this question is regarding this question what is the combination that is the correct now you have to observe the answer for this question is for this question the answer is the first option and the second option so the answer is for this question is microtubules and microfilaments that is the first option is the answer for this question here microtubules and microfilaments now we discuss for the next question assertion it is also called the statement movements of internal organs in a celomates is restricted now you have to observe what are the a celomates phylum platy helminthes in the phylum platy helminthes the movements of internal organs in a celomates is restricted it is 100% correct this assertion or statement now what is the reason the reason is the hydrostatic tissue here what is the hydrostatic tissue in the embryonic condition mesenchyme whereas in the adult stage it is called the parenchyme the hydrostatic tissue in their bodies does not provide enough free space for the movement of internal organs yes here what is the correct answer the first one a and r correct r correctly explains the a because in the phylum platy helminthes between the elementary canal and body wall what is present the mesenchyme in the mesenchyme all organs are embedded so such tissue prevents or restricts the movement of organs now we move for the next question heteropolar axis of bilaterally symmetrical organisms now as we observe the symmetry what is the advanced symmetry that we call it as bilateral symmetry here regarding this question what are the heteropolar axis in the bilaterally symmetrical organisms as we observe the bilateral symmetry three axes are present one is antero posterior the second one is sagittal and the third one we call it as the transverse axis for this question as we observe the answers transverse sagittal axis antero posterior sagittal transverse antero posterior oro aboral antero posterior now here for this question what are the hetero polar axis one is antero posterior axis and the second one is sagittal axis so for this question what is the answer the second option now we go for the next question basing on the number of possible planes that can cut the animals into two halves arrange the following animals examples in an ascending order once again we are repeating the question basing on the number of possible division planes that can cut the animals into two halves arrange the following animals examples in an ascending order now as we observe the symmetry one we call it as asymmetry in the asymmetry no division planes zero what is the example for the asymmetry one we call it as amoeba paramecium adult gastropods now the next one is spherical symmetry in the spherical symmetry how many division planes many in the radial symmetry how many division planes many in the biradial symmetry how many division planes two 
whereas in the pentaradial symmetry how many division planes 5 whereas in the bilateral symmetry how many division planes 1 based on these division planes we have to arrange the animals in a order now the first one is starfish in the starfish how many division planes five division planes now the second one is silver fish it come under the class insecta that is arthropoda in the arthropoda how many division planes are present one now the third one is jellyfish it come under the class kyphozoa radial symmetry how many division planes many division planes now the d that is paramecium in the paramecium there is no symmetry what are the division planes zero now the c anemon that come under the class anthozoa in the class anthozoa what is the main symmetry the biradial symmetry in the biradial symmetry how many division planes two division planes so that we have to arrange first one no division planes zero above that one division plane above that two division planes above that five division planes above that many division planes now for this question you have to guess the answer the answer is one here the d paramecium no division planes b silver fish one division plane e c anemone two division planes and next a starfish five division planes and the c jellyfishes radial symmetry many division planes now we discuss for the next question hallmark what is the meaning of hallmark important what is the hallmark or important characteristic of tissue level of organization in the phylum nidaria is the development of now as we observe the body organization the first one is cellular grade the second one we call it as tissue grade the third one we call it as organ system grade of organization in this body organization what is the hallmark that is the tissue grade why it is called the important body organization or hallmark because in the tissue grade of organization what are first developed the nerve cells and sensory cells because of the presence of nerve cells and sensory cells there is a coordination and integration among the cells so the cells are in the form of the tissues now you have to observe what are the options mouth and anus the second one is sealant iron and paragastric cavity third one is nutritive muscular cells and epithelial muscular cells and the fourth one is nerve cells and sensory cells now you have to guess the answer for this question is the fourth one the nerve cells and sensory cells now we move for the next question lowest level of organization among eumetazoans here the question is among eumetazoans now as we observe the kingdom animalia it is broadly classified into two sub kingdoms para jova and umeta jova in the para jova only one phylum is present that is the porifera in the para jova what is the body organization cellular grid of organization whereas in the umeta jova what are the body organizations tissue grid of body organization and organ system grid of body organization now for this question lowest level of body organization among eumetazoans but not in the kingdom animalia among eumetazoans one is cellular grade second one is organ system grade third one is tissue grade and the next one is triploblastic organization so for this question what is the answer is the third answer that we call it as tissue grade of body organization now we move for the next question epithelium that is the first column the second one is location of the nucleus in the epithelial cell where the nucleus is present whether it is in the center or at the bottom now the third column is example now first column simple squamous epithelium followed by simple cuboidal epithelium followed by simple columnar epithelium followed by simple columnar epithelium now we go for the second column the nucleus center flattened the next one nucleus center and spherical third one nucleus center and oval and the next one the nucleus oval and near the base now the third column alveoli thyroid vesicles mucosa stomach and next ureter now as we observe 
simple squamous epithelium. In the simple squamous epithelium, the nucleus is in the center. And what is the example for the simple squamous epithelium? Alveoli and simple cuboidal epithelium. Here the nucleus is spherical, centrally located. Where it is? The thyroid vesicles. Now, simple columnar epithelium. In the simple columnar epithelium, as we observe, the nucleus is oval, 100% correct, but it is not in the center. Now, what is the correct answer for this question is? What is the correct answer? You have to guess the question. Answer for this question is? Second answer. What is the answer here? A and B. We discussed regarding this one. In the simple squamous epithelium, the nucleus is flat, located in the center. The answer is alveoli of lumps. And simple cuboidal, the nucleus is spherical, located in the center. What is the example? The thyroid vesicles. Now, we go for the next question. Match the following. Now, in the first column, the epithelium. The second column is example. Now, the first one in the list, pavement epithelium. What is the other name of pavement epithelium? Simple squamous epithelium. The second one is non-ciliated simple columnar epithelium. And the third one is simple cuboidal epithelium. And the fourth one is simple ciliated columnar epithelium. Now we have to observe the examples. Lining of thyroid vesicles. The second one is ducts of sweat glands. And the third one is pleura. Here, what is the meaning of the pleura? The layers present here on the lungs. And the fourth one is uterus. And the fifth one is the mucosa of intestine. Now, you have to guess answer for this question. Pavement epithelium. Where the pavement epithelium or simple squamous epithelium that goes for the pleura. Now, non-ciliated simple columnar epithelium. Where it is going to observe? In the mucosa of intestine. In the mucosa of intestine, there is no cilia. Simple cuboidal epithelium, where it is present in the lining of thyroid vesicles. And the simple ciliated columnar epithelium, it is confined to the ducts of sweat glands. Now, as we observe, the answer is third. Now, we go for the next question. Urethra contains the following epithelia. What is the meaning of urethra? Urinogenital canal associated with the male reproductive system. Now, what type of epithelia present in the urethra? One option is pseudostratified columnar epithelium. The second one is transitional epithelium. And the third one is pseudostratified ciliated columnar. And the next one is pseudostratified non-ciliated columnar. And the next one is stratified cuboidal. Now, for this question, we go for the elimination process. Here, the example is urethra or urinogenital canal. What type of epithelium is present? Pseudostratified columnar and pseudostratified non-ciliated columnar. So, you have to guess. Answer for this question is, for this question, the answer is the second one, A and D. And the first option also go, also correct. A and D, pseudo-stratified columnar and pseudo-stratified non-ciliated columnar. Both are correct. Answer 1 and answer 2. Now, we move for the next question. Cell organelle responsible for the recycling of worn out cellular components are also called. Now, first you have to observe the first option. Work benches of protein synthesis. Second option, powerhouses of the cell. And the third option, MTOC, microtubular organizing center. And the fourth one we call it as suicidal bags. Now, here what is our question? Cell organelles responsible for the recycling of worn out cellular components are also called. Actual answer for this question is the lysosomes. What is the other name of lysosomes? The suicidal bags. Now, what about the workbenches of protein synthesis? We know very well the ribosomes. What are the powerhouses of the cell? The mitochondria. What about the MTOC? Microtubular organizing center. They play an important role in the formation of mitotic spindle. So, what is the answer for this question is? The answer for this question is 
suicidal bags. Now, up to this, we completed Molasca, Echinodermata, Animal Organization, up to Epithelial Tissues. These are some important questions are going to ask in the MSET examination. In the previous classes, we completed the Unit 1 Basics and we completed the Invertebrata Phyla, Protozoa, Porifera, Nidaria, Platyelmendis, Nematoda, Anilida, Arthropoda. In the last class, we discussed important bits regarding the Nematoda, Anilida, Arthropoda. Now we have to discuss important bits what we completed the unit one that we call it as basics and the general characters protozoa, porifera, nidaria and platyhelminthes.